Hello my lovies, welcome back to my true life. Today we're doing another planning sesh for the upcoming week, which will be week number five. And it is the last week of January and I see that I have to get my taxes done. Yay! So I thought it would be fun to like backtrack a little and then set up everything for the coming week. If you are ready to roll, great. If you need a moment to grab yourself some tea, coffee, a snack, go for it. And in the meantime, I'm gonna show you this stamp, which has absolutely nothing to do with planning, but I found it on Etsy and I think it's just so cool. So apparently you can make an Ex Libris stamp, and I don't know if I pronounced that correctly because it's a Latin term, but um, you can personalize your own stamp that you can use to stamp your books. So if you're into reading and you exchange books with friends a lot, you can create this library stamp and therefore create your own little library. So, for example, this one was made for me. And just to like give you an example, oh, here's an example of my stamp. How cute is this? from the library of Gaia Quintana. That is my first name. So how cool is that? And I bought another one for a friend who just um, received her PhD. And I feel like if you have a PhD, you're gonna create more books and essays and you're gonna have to stamp your own stuff, I feel like. So I thought it was fun to show you in the meantime because this does not deserve an entire new haul. But it's a pretty big stamp, as you can see. It's really big. <laughs> but I thought it was such a fun gift to give because you can personalize it and they've got all kinds of different designs. So I kind of went for this one because I think this kind of looks a little witchy. The other ones were more minimalistic and I kind of liked that it looks like you're... Hello, can we focus? Yes, thank you. It kind of looks like you're looking through a window and you can see the moon and some cute little leaves. I thought that was cute. So yeah, that's my stamp. And then I got another one for a friend who got her PhD. I don't think she watches my videos, so I can just <laughs> show you this. Also, this is a high tie planner from last year that I didn't use enough. So what I'm doing now is using it as a food log. And I forgot the last one, two, three, four, five days of the week. <laughs> so we're going on to next week. And so what I do is I just cross out the day so for example, the 23rd of January was not a Monday, but a Tuesday. So I just cross out the day and still use it. I bought this last year to use this as a marketing planner. And then I kept doing everything in Google, uh, Google Calendar. So yeah, I also really just like how cute this is. How cute is this? I mean, it is so cute. It's a little retro, a little vintage, and that's why I got so interested in it. But I'm not gonna buy it again for planning because I do have to say my Hobonichi Weeks is my love. And let's just dive into that because I think you've already had some time to grab yourself a drink and situate yourself behind your desk. It is now time to plan. Where is my favorite pen? Sarasa Mark on. Let's roll. What I always do is track my steps. So I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit so that you can see how and what I do. So yeah, it's kind of fun to see this whole entire row of January filled with all of the steps I took. Some days are very low, some are very high, and it's kind of fun to track. I, I say, I say it's fun to track. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. <gasps> I forgot to do a couple of days. So on Thursday, so where I get my steps from is my um, Apple Watch and then I check my phone because then I can see how many steps I had. So this is Thursday. Gotta do a little bit of backtracking because I got a little bit lazy because I wasn't feeling too well. At first I thought I was getting the flu, but uh, nope, just some weirdness. And it's kind of fun to use this overview for all of the steps I take because it makes me so motivated to do more steps than I did the day before. Sometimes it's impossible because I work behind the computer a lot, um, but I try to walk an hour each day to make sure that I hit at least 5,000 steps. Doesn't always happen, but um, I've also had some 
good, very good days where I was at my 10K mark. Like my favorite, favorite mark is to get 10K. And I even got 16K over here on the 15th. And then everything went downhill. <laughs> so we gotta crank it up in February. Anyway, this is the first thing I do every morning. Track my steps. Then I check if I made some money. I did make some money. I haven't updated this whole thing yet. There are some uh, things that I need to check on my bank account, but that is not something I'm gonna do now because it takes a while, but these are some small amounts of money I made from some passive income, which is nice. And then I also have some bigger invoices that I send out, send out to bigger clients, so I will be adding them there. I went to my sister's house. I was there at uh 13 15 and we left around what was it 1730 yeah i like knowing where i was <laughs> it sounds weird and i was in the city at 12 30 i think was it 12 30 around 12 i was in the city and i did some shopping because my sister moved into her own house with her boyfriend, so I bought her like an emergency kit and I got her all the things that no one really thinks of but you do really need when you start living on your own. Like a flashlight, extra batteries, candles for emer emergencies. Um, what are those other things called? The things that you use when you get like a little wound or something? What is that called? Uh, Band-aids and stuff. Like I got her a whole set, so she's good. <laughs> I also have to track weight and kilometers and how much I worked out. I always do that in this column. And as you can see, I did not really update this. So I did five kilometers on Thursday, 5K kilometers and I did 54 minutes of a workout and I like tracking that because I am on a weight loss uh, journey, if you will. <laughs> it's not always going the way I want it to go, but you know, every little bit helps. So my weight currently is going down, which is nice, but I'm still weak too heavy but I'm getting help with that now so that's nice but I like keeping track of it because it's super motivating to see the skill drop and if it doesn't drop it's usually because I'm on my period or there's something else going on and it's just nice to understand what is happening in my body now back to my google watch thingy so I want to see how many kilometers I did on Friday. Not too much, only <laughs> not even one kilometer because I was in bed all day on Friday. I worked from bed, you guys. That is such a nice thing that I can do as an entrepreneur, work from my bed on Fridays. I don't always do it, but sometimes, ugh, I get the best ideas just working from bed with my laptop in my lap. It is awesome. Um, yep, and then did I work on Thursday? Yeah, 54 minutes. No, joking. Friday, I didn't work out at all. <laughs> and then on Saturday, I did a 38 minute walk, apparently. <laughs> but that was just me shopping. I'm like cheating a little bit because technically, walking around the mall is not a workout. I mean, some people see retail therapy as a workout, but no, it's not for realsies, obviously. Okay, so I made a really nice trackers, if I say so myself. I think I've outdone myself with my trackers. Okay, so when we zoom out a little bit, I did this and I didn't film it for you guys because this was, this was like a creative thing that happened in my mind. And I really, really like how this looks. It's so cutesy but also highly functional and minimalistic. So I made all of these charts and trackers and I love it. So let's go through the trackers one by one. 
and see what I did and did not do. So yeah, I got some chicken breast from the freezer and stupid me forgot that I took it out so I can't eat it anymore because it's ruined now. I did eat some eggs. There's still tofu in my fridge. <gasps> I've got a big ass cauliflower that I need to use. I eat a poke bowl, yeah. Still got some onions, cheese, cheese, gratin with potatoes. I really need to do like a fridge check because there's a lot of stuff in there that I did not eat this week and I don't want to have to throw it away. Anyway, we also have to do like a skincare check. I did skincare every day. That is good. It's now Saturday and I did skincare. I brushed my teeth every day. It is Saturday. I forgot to brush my teeth this morning because it's a... No, I did brush my teeth on Saturday. <laughs> Joking, it's Sunday and I haven't brushed my teeth yet because it's Sunday. <laughs> I'm gonna do that after this video, I'm gonna think about it. Um, I took a bath on Thursday and on Saturday I took a shower. And did I do workouts? Let me see when I did workouts. I did not do workouts every day. Wednesday I did a workout, yeah. Thursday I did a workout, yup. Friday, no. Saturday, yup. And then did I journal? No, I did not do any journaling. <laughs> so journaling, what I mean with journaling is like really writing in my journal with my personal feelings, experiences, blah, blah, blah. My mind has been so occupied that I haven't been doing it, which sounds counterproductive because usually I journal to clear my mind, but I just haven't felt like doing it. So I didn't do it. Then we got some house chores. I did the dishes every day. Oh my God, that is like new for me to do that. Garbage, I've collected all the garbage, haven't actually thrown it out. And I'm gonna do vacuum cleaning, bathroom, toilet today. And I'm also doing some laundry and ironing. So this is all gonna happen today. So I can't cross it up yet. I, yeah, I did actually, do 20 minutes of learning Korean every day. But I gotta tell you, since my mind is so occupied, I have the hardest time learning Korean. Like words that I already know, I forget and I make the stupidest mistakes. It is so annoying. Anyway, that was my week. I forgot one set of trackers, which is always in the back. I've got my workout and intermittent fasting tracker and then my period tracker. These two are always together because I often see that when I um, fast, I can see my weight go down. Or when I'm on my period, I can see that I work out less. And it kind of is interesting to see it all correlate with each other and I understand my body more. So this is where I also keep track of workouts and stuff. It may seem like extra work, but for me, it's just very nice to have like an extra overview. So if you don't want to do stuff like this, you don't have to. But I do it because it just works very well for my brain. And I also like having like this total overview of everything that I did. So for example, these are all the minutes I exercised this month. And I really like knowing that because I've been a bit of a schlock kebab. <laughs> And also I write down when I don't work out so that I'm motivated the next day to, to work out again. So yeah, that's kind of how I've been using this overview page. It's very, very nice. And then I also have to check my intermittent fasting schedule. I use the Zero app to do that. I don't know if you also do intermittent fasting, but I just used a free version to track how much I fast. And so this week on Thursday, I did a 20 hour and 14 minute fast and it triggered a headache like you wouldn't believe. I thought I was gonna die. I actually took two aspirins and I never take aspirin. So I knew something was up. So I did 20 hours and 14 minutes. And I tried a few more times, but that headache was insane. And then flipping this around, we got some period stuff. So as you can see, I've got some X's here. 
X's are my actual period days. So I put X's down when I'm on my period and I put dots when I'm not. That's how I make the distinction. And uh, it's been very nice to track. And so I'm going to fill this in because I have to think about what I actually experienced. And that is going to take a while because I forgot to track this per day and I have to backtrack and my brain is getting older. <laughs> so give me a sec. All right, my lovies. So let's set up week five. I've got a little sticker here that I put in last week. It says tax because on the 31st, I need to pay my taxes. As an entrepreneur, I have quarterly tax stuff going on. So I don't want to miss that date. So this, this little sticker I use to indicate that for myself. So let's get to work and create my layout. I keep it really simple these days and I've been using more stickers to make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing for myself because it motivates me to really use my um, planner. And yeah, I need to make these boxes over here that I always use. Dividers done. Now I gotta check my appointments in my Google Calendar. Where is it? Here, it is here. Hello. Don't have a lot going on next week. Um, no, not a lot going on. So no appointments, but there are things that I have to do. So for example, on Thursday, I have to send out a quotation quotation to one of my clients for a LinkedIn training. Because as a business consultant and marketer, I do train people on how to use social media sometimes. And that is a nice gig to have. Um, I also have an appointment with a new bookkeeper, potential new bookkeeper, because the one I'm currently using, it costs me about 300 bucks, including taxes a month. And apparently that can be um, a lot cheaper. And I found a similar bookkeeper system that apparently does kind of the same but for a lot less money. So I am going to have a little chat with them and see if I have a click with their bookkeeper and their software and see if it's a good match. And if it is, I'll quit my current bookkeeper and move the flip on and save some money, honey, because you know, I'm Dutch and I like, I like a good, <laughs> I like a good deal. <laughs> Right, 12 B day dinner. Um, yes. And then I don't really have a lot of things. I have my vlog video that I put out on every Sunday. So this is, no, not my vlog. This is my Bujo planner video. But I also want to put out a vlog video on Friday. So let's see if I can make that happen. Because it all comes down to like inspiration at this point. And then I also have client work on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. And then the rest of the week is all mine, yay. And then these are all the appointments that I have for as far as I know right now. And then it's time to create these trackers. So usually I use these script stickers, but I kind of don't want to do that right now. I'm a little over them. I've used them for over a year now. I want to try something else. Got these little Munster and Co stickers with food. How cute is that? Yaws, very cute. So I'm gonna create 
something with this. I think I'm gonna go for this little soup ball, bowl. Not a ball, but bowl. I haven't used that at all. And that is in the top right. Ah, so cute. Very, very, very cute. And then I've been using this uh, green Sarasa highlighter to create the boxes. And I love these muted colors, so let's get to work. So not using that script sticker on top is giving me a little bit extra room for more food things that I want to write down. So what I usually do in this section is write down what is in my fridge right now. And I've got three columns. So what I've been doing is like doing like fruits in one column, veggies in another, and the third one is for like protein, like eggs and stuff, or like random things. And my brain really likes rows of things that belong to the same group. So this is how I've been doing it. And I didn't do it intentionally, but this cute little bowl has like a green color and it fits this green um, outliner highlighter. And I love this ton sur ton look, or as the French would say, ton sur ton, uh, or my French is terrible, never mind, let's scrap that. <laughs> but yeah, it basically means that you use all kinds of shades of the same color so green types all kinds of green so yeah then next up it is i think self-care yep self-care so let's find a sticker for self-care these are so cute and i've been on a mission to use all the stickers that i have as much as possible because i'm kind of the type of person that will buy something that i find really pretty and cute and then i try to preserve it for as long as possible aka not use it at all which is kind of wasteful and i'm trying to not be wasteful but i'm being wasteful by not using it it kind of is weird it makes no sense but that's what I do and I'm trying to stop doing that because I really just want to start using all the things that I have and really enjoy them. But for some reason, I find it hard. I thought about it and I think it might be because I also know what it's like to not have pretty things. So I'm like extra, extra careful with all the stuff that I have. But I feel like this is a good exercise for me to start enjoying whatever I bought. <laughs> I really just use it and also it looks so cute. I need more of these headers, but first I have to finish this sheet before I can buy new ones. Cause knowing me, I'll buy more and be like, it's too pretty to use. And then I end up with like five sheets of header stickers and never use them. Yeah, <laughs> issues. I've been using this bloom outliner to create the self care tracker and I liked how it looks. So we're just gonna recreate it. down the days of the week we've got monday thursday wednesday tuesday nay thursday <laughs> friday saturday sunday and this is my self care tracker skin care teeth, shower, workout, and journaling. I still have to figure out how to make my Korean learning tracker a little bit better because right now I'm only tracking minutes I feel like I could do a little more or 
optimize this tracker layout. I feel like there could be a better way. However, I'm almost done. I've got my appointments. I've got my notification and theme boxes. These boxes will be for tracking my weight and stuff. And since this week hasn't started, I don't know anything about that yet. And then the last thing I have to do is check what's in my fridge. So I'm trying to make sure I don't waste too much food. You know, I'm single. Sometimes I find it hard to cook for myself. Um, as in, I'm single and I make too much food sometimes. Or sometimes I go to the supermarket hungry. Bad idea. <laughs> so yeah, um, then I end up with too much food. I've gotten better though. I've gotten so much better this year by not going to the supermarket before I've decided what I actually want to make. Um, otherwise, I do not get to go to the supermarket. And that has been a challenge. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's been working. Um, I've got Poke Bowl stuff. I've got pickled radish. The yellow one. Oh, that's so amazing. So yeah, and then I have to like figure out what else is in my fridge and make sure that I cross it out once I've used it so that I know I actually ate what I bought. There's only one thing left to do and that's decorating a little bit. I got this cute little sticker book at Flying Tiger. It is a Danish company and they've got all kinds of cute stationery stuff. And so I found this little sticker, it's called Party Time. And I wanna use it for the surprise party that I'm attending for one of my friends. So, yep, here we go. It is on Saturday, so I'm gonna stick this here. It's so cute. Very, very cute. Can we see this? Yes, party time. Very, very cutesy. All right, my lovies, this is my planner setup for week five of 2024. I'm about to finish week four, which is uh, still happening right now as I'm filming this video. I have to do some vacuum cleaning, I have to take out the garbage, clean the toilet and my bathroom, and I have to do some laundry and ironing. So I'm gonna finish week four strong and end this trekker today. I'm gonna kill it with cleaning. And then next day, Monday, which is tomorrow, or if you're watching this video later, it's probably already been, but I'm starting fresh with a new layout. And if you liked doing this with me, definitely thumbs up this video, follow and subscribe for more, because I tend to upload every Sunday to end every week on a positive note. So I wanna thank you, love you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Keep on stopping, and I'll see you next week. Ciao.